Hello, boys and girls. Oh, I'm so glad to be back to see you again because you know what? Last session, we really covered a very important way of solving the puzzles when there's more than one cell empty. It was called the TMB, top, middle, bottom rows of horizontal blocks. And today, we've got another set of them and we're going to have a practice so here we go. I'm going to go a little faster and you can look ahead perhaps, see if you can see it before I get there. Here we go. We're going to start with one and, none, and, and this is, just remember this is the top row. Uh, this is the middle row of these blocks and this is the bottom row. And we'll do it here too. This is the top row of these horizontal blocks. This is the middle row. And this is the bottom row. And same here. Top, middle, bottom. These three horizontal blocks have got a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. When you get a real puzzle, these are all joined up together. And each of these blocks has a top row, a middle row, and a bottom row. With that in mind, let's start with one and make our way up to nine. Here's a one on the bottom, here's a one on the top, here's a one in the middle, they're all there, whoopee, go to the next one. Here's a two on the top, here's a two on the bottom, here's a two in the middle, whoopee, let's go to the next one. Uh, three, threes, threes, we have a three in the bottom here, a three in the middle, this has to be a three. Bottom, middle, top. So you can have them in different orders. You can have bottom, middle, top. You have top, middle, bottom. You have middle, bottom, top. You have middle, top, bottom. All those different combinations. <laughs> okay, here we go with fours. Four, we have a middle. And this block doesn't have a four. This block does have a four. So the four has to be top, middle. It can be in the bottom. Fives. We have a five, two fives. We have a five in this block and a five in this block. This block doesn't have the five, so this is the top. This is the bottom. This block has to have it, has to have it in the middle, so it goes there. Six is uh, bottom, middle, top. Sevens, middle, top, bottom. Eights, top, bottom, got to be in the middle. Nines, bottom, Middle, so this one has to be in the top. Well, we knew that because there was only one left in there. So that was a quick revision. We called it a practice of what we did last session. We'll do it again on this one. We'll take the ones. Let's take the ones. Here we go. Uh, top and the middle. So this block that doesn't have it, one has to be on its bottom row. So it has to be there. Twos. We have a top on this one. We have a Bottom on that one, so this has to be a two, because that didn't have a two, so we put it there. Threes, we have two threes, we have, so we can do it, we have a, a middle, we have a top, and we therefore need to have this one on the bottom. This is the bottom row, so it goes there, there's nowhere else it can go. Sometimes, as you'll see in a future lesson, they could go in several spots. What do you do then? Don't worry. We'll find out in the session down the road. Okay, fours, bottom, top, middle. Fives, uh, bottom and a top, so this block has to be in the middle. You can never say top, 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 or top, middle, 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 middle. It has to be only one T, M, or B. Okay, five sixes. We have a six in the bottom. Over here we have a six in the middle. So this has to be a six in the top. Well, there's nowhere else for it to go, wasn't it? Sevens, this, these are very easy. It gets harder later. This is the middle. This is the bottom. It has to be up on the top there. Eights, uh, this is the top. This is the middle. It has to be at the bottom there. Nines, we have a bottom, we have a middle, and we have a top. Nine has to go there. Now let's do the bottom one. You get the idea of this? The more practice you have, the quicker you can see these. But the idea, let me repeat, is to look at, see if a number is in two out of the three blocks. If there's a block of those three blocks 
that doesn't have that number, now you can help, you, it'll help you solve it using TMB. One's top, middle, bottom. Two, middle, bottom. So this has to be on the top. That's a funny two. I'm looking at it sideways and doing acrobats here. <laughs> um, threes, they're all there. Top, middle, bottom. Fours, we've got a top, we have a middle. In this block that doesn't have it, it has to be on the bottom. Okay, fives, we have a bottom, top, it has to be in the middle. On this one that doesn't have a five. Uh, sixes, we have a middle, we have a bottom, it has to be over here on top, on the top. Uh, sevens, we have a middle, a top, it has to be on the bottom. Bottom row of that block. Uh, eights, uh, we have a middle, we have a bottom, it has to be up here on the top. And nines, we have a bottom and we have a top, Therefore, it has to go there, and believe it or not, that's the only place it can go. So that's it for today's session, boys and girls. I hope you're getting the idea of how to use top, middle, bottom, or TMB is for short. Next session, we go on to something even more interesting. So, bye for now. <laughs>